Hey, what's up? My name is Toby and be very welcome to this first development vlog. In this and the upcoming episodes, we are going to explore all the possibilities and all the cool stuff you can do with augmented reality. Augmented reality is such a powerful tool as it combines the most advanced iterations of hardware and 3D technology, but still allows us to be in the real world. And I think with Pokemon Go, we could all see the impact, the positive impact this can have supporting social interactions while still being a fun game. And this is just amazing what this technology can do. I gotta be honest with you. I don't have a lot of background experience in software development. I did a few YouTube courses, a Udemy course. So during this episode, during this series, I will also learn how to develop for augmented reality. This devlog is definitely for you. If you're interested in AR, if you want to see what's possible, if you want to have cool experiences that you can install on your own phone or even AR glasses in the future. But it would also be interesting for you if you want to become an AR developer yourself or if you think about starting as an AR developer. And if you're already an AR expert, we maybe can become a community of AR enthusiastic people. And maybe it will also be funny for you to see all the mistakes I do. Alright, so some days have passed and as the idea, the goal of this vlog series is to build some amazing AR experiences. Well, the first thing I have to consider is what is possible to build in general? What are the SDKs, the assets, the packages that are already out there that we can use to build something? And what are the technical limitations of that? When I think about AR, one very important thing for me is the interaction with the hand because this truly gives a feeling of embodiment of being present in the virtual world compared to if you tap on the screen for example which is also not a bad thing it's a lot easier to implement but it also has less of this intensity than when you can do something with your real hands so Lana Motion is a plugin for unity uh, or an asset that basically lets you interact with your hands in augmented reality with any kind of game object, which is quite interesting. The next thing is the Lightship SDK by Niantic. And Niantic are those people who did Pokemon Go, so one of the most advanced augmented reality application. And basically they cover everything else. So in their development kit, you have options for semantic segmentation. So that the app can uh, recognize what's the ground, what's the sky, are there um, trees and it can even recognize objects in the world. These are all cool options we have later on to make us interact with the real world while we're still in some kind of game, right? Um, which means that we need to combine the functionality. And this was the first challenge I had because you have to understand that well, in, in the Unity uh, editor, you have usually one camera that represents basically the AR camera, which then sees the image that uh, you pointed towards. But it cannot natively split the image to two packages, to two scripts. That's a problem because the way those scripts work is they take the image and some sensor data like the gyroscope in which direction do you uh, put the handheld um, and then they analyze it and based on that they for example can um, place objects and position them in the real world. So one way I had to figure out is how to split the image and with some help using ChatGPT which was quite useful in that situation I managed to split the image into a texture which then could be used as the input for one of the plugins, while the other plugin could take the real world uh, image data. All right, so after solving this essential issue of how to combine multiple AR plugins, we are not tied to one single development kit, but can combine any AR plugins as we wish. And this gives us all the functionality we can ask for to build some cool experiences. My idea was to build a very simple scene where you could place multiple 3D objects and then grab them with your hand, pick them up and move them around. Because one thing I already learned is that before you start building fancy graphics and more advanced mechanics, you should just make sure that the basic concepts are working and then work up from there. One more thing I found very helpful during this process 
was to have a board where all the tasks are written down. In my case, I used Notion, which is basically free. And I created this board where all the tasks I wanted to do or I felt important should be organized and categorized. So I have one category where there are tasks that are not yet started, one where only the current task is in. So this is the one I'm working on right now. And the final one when it's already completed. This really helped me to structureize what I would be doing right now and also to just focus on one thing. Because if you're working on something, there's thousands of things that you can improve, hundreds of ideas that you have. But if you don't focus on getting one thing done that's crucial, you won't really get progress. All right, so after a lot of building around, this is the scene I came up with. And as you can see, it's possible to place a 3D object into the real world, then take your hand and move the object. The hand is currently still occluded by the 3D object, so you can't see the hand in front of it. This is something I'm gonna do next, which is quite important. But for basic functionality, I'm quite happy. And yeah, this is basically it for the first vlog. These were my first weeks as an 8-hour dev with very little prior knowledge in programming. It was really thrilling. It was a lot of fun. I hit my head against the wall many times. I was Googling, I was chat GPTing, but in the end, the feeling, if it kind of runs, is just amazing. And I'm really looking forward to the next episodes where we are going to build some more fun mechanics and just get more into exciting AR experiences. So thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.